You got clickbaited? Wow, was Sam Piker and Pokemon exposed a massive leak? Critical role under fire, Twitch and Facebook? Let's go! Let's fucking go! Yet another Philip DeFranco clickbait, dude! Oh, bastards, welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. And hey, a quick friendly reminder, you only have five days left to head on over to beautifulbastard.com to get in on the October draw. Where I'm talking about our awesome gold foil, one day we'll all be skeletons gear, that badass tie-dye, the vert stack don't be stupid gear, and of course, our puffy ink exhausted line. There for now, then gone forever. Grab some awesome, help support the show, hit that like button, and hey, let's just jump into it. And y'all, first up today, we need to talk about the entirety of Twitch leaks online today. I mean, as one creator explained, I feel like calling what Twitch just experienced as leak is similar to me shitting myself in public and trying to call it a minor inconvenience. It really doesn't do the situation justice. We're talking 125 gigabytes of source code uploaded to 4chan this morning, and there is a lot. The leak, including Twitch's internal security tools, as well as code related to software development kits and its use of Amazon Web Services, data related to an unreleased Steam competitor from Amazon Game Studios codenamed Vapor. So inside on yet another industry and vertical that Amazon Amazon's looking to take over. Sorry, I have to go back to work. Privileged life. You don't know the struggle you fake on your uncle's coattails. Sorry, I have to go back to work. Some of us actually have to work for money instead of LARPing as a socialist. I mean, that's you're being a dumbass if you're like actually not just like wasting the company time by watching me on Twitch while you're at work. Like, why would you why would you spend your like smoke break or some shit? Why would you spend your smoke break on like hate watching your your least favorite Twitch streamer? That's so sad, dude. Listen, brother. You know, uh, we welcome you, okay? Come back soon. Over. However, by far the most notable bit of data that has come out, what people are focusing on is money. And specifically, how much Twitch has paid out to each of its top creators over the last two years. I don't feel comfortable showing the exact numbers, but at the very top of the list, you have Critical Role, followed by XQC. Then others like Tifu, Ludwig, Hassan Abi, aka Hassan Piker, Moist Critical, Pokimane Ninja, Amaranth. And it's been interesting to see the creators responding, right? XQC saying Twitch, explain. Amaranth saying this is our version of the Pandora Papers. Pokimane tweeting, at least people can't over exaggerate me making millions a month off my viewers anymore. Also people like Moise Critical and Hassan Piker essentially going, why is this such a big deal? Hassan, who many people know, outrageously owns a house, tweeting, can't wait for people to be mad at me about my publicly available sub count again. Side note, Hassan has to feel so weird about this right now. Like he was trying to- Hi chat, I knew he couldn't resist watching this. How many times has Hassan used the words hogs on stream today? Anyway, remember to head on over to shoptofranco.com. All profits go to socialism. Socialism is what I'm going to name my yacht hard. Higher than the Twitch leak itself on my page. Moist Critical is saying, super weird to see people freak out about Twitch income and act like it was some big secret when sub count is publicly available. Take that number and multiply it by 2.5 or 3.5 and bitch. you're there. It's also been very interesting to see people's responses. Some saying, oh wow, that's so much money. Some saying, oh wow, that's less than what I thought it would be. Twitch, I would note to, to both parties here. Keep in mind, these are only- Bro, YouTubers are literally looking at the top Twitch streamers and laughing, okay? YouTubers are literally looking at the top Twitch streamers and their earnings and going, these broke bitches. One, they work at Twitch. Okay, they work on the Twitch platform. So like the amount of money they're making is pennies in comparison to what like top YouTubers make. Okay, which is by the way, an insane amount of money. Do not misunderstand me. I need to repeat this over and over again. But like, like the amount of money that YouTubers make is it's so much larger as a platform it is incomprehensible from Twitch payouts, right? This doesn't include sponsorships or donations, which is where a lot of money can come from. Also in unrelated news, I will now be streaming the Philip DeFranco show nine hours a day. Obviously I'm kidding because one, a lot of people don't keep in mind like how much of a skill set it is to be engaging for that long. And two, you have me live stream that much a day per week. I'm getting canceled in a week. I also and understand I'm, I'm right. biased here because I, I really like them. I saw some people taking aim at critical role being like, look how much money they're bringing in. We need to stop treating them like they're an indie group this is a company but uh as someone that watches them from time to time like i'm not the, the most avid fan it always feels like they talk about it like it's a business i've had marisha and matt on my podcast they're very transparent and to me the, this criticism felt very much like when when people are like oh the, this indie band that i found they've gone too mainstream like why do we root for people to be successful and then get angry that they're successful and that's without getting into the nitty-gritty of like how much a show like that costs for dues taxes blah 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 but also going back to the leak things might not be done yet this because the leak was labeled as part one and if true, there's no reason to think that the leakers would not publish a part two, especially because- What of do you mean? You guys make half your money from sponsorship and donations? This is like not true for me. It might be true. Probably true for others because sponsorships uh, uh, pay a, a pretty penny, but 
most of most of my revenue is right there. The biggest bulk of my revenue is that like not even close to anything else. You can make a lot more money on YouTube and a lot of large YouTubers do. The difference there, of course, is that um, it depends on what kind of content you're creating on YouTube. It depends on it depends on how big you are on YouTube. But if you compare how like if you compare big if you compare big YouTubers and the revenues that they generate to the largest Twitch streamers where like XQC is making 8 million over the course of like two years, it's nothing. Miskip said he earns the majority of his money from sponsors, which he does all the time. Oh yeah. There's a reason why everyone's getting these AI donation voices. People are so dumb. I like TTS and I turn it on every now and then because sometimes it has the capability of being funny. But if you watch my stream and I'm live eight and 10 hours a day, you know that my, my TTS is almost always off. And the reason why my text speech is off is because I feel like it gets annoying. I thought it was pretty funny last night during Far Cry. That's why I kept it on. I'm not much of a fan, but I think it's weird. Peepos are outraged, lol. It appears that the people behind this are not too fond of Twitch, saying that they hope this data dump, quote, fosters more disruption and competition in the online video streaming space, and calling the platform a disgusting, toxic cesspool, and including the hashtag do better Twitch, which very notably has been used in recent weeks to drive boycotts against the platform as smaller creators protest the ease at which trolls can use bots to spam their chats with racist, sexist, and homophobic messages. And the last thing I'll, I'll tack onto this is that currently it doesn't appear that password and address information from Twitch users is out there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the people behind this don't have it. So I would definitely say change your passwords. And if you have doubles of passwords, probably change those as well. And while you're at it, implement two-factor authentication in case a hack happens like this again. Because, I mean, right now, while this mostly seems targeted against Twitch itself rather than the users, you're better off safe than sorry, especially if bad actors start trying to use Twitch's source code to find cracks in its security. But ultimately, where I want to end this story today is on two key notes and two key questions. And that is one, what do you think about the leakers connecting this to the Do Better Twitch campaign? Right, I mean, you look, I'm talking about this, other outlets are talking about it. Yo, Azan quit crying about the info leak. What? Everyday people talking about it, and so, hey, does it raise awareness? Does it put a bigger spotlight on the story so it's successful and it's good? Or no, do you think they're using it to, like, protect themselves, deflect from the fact that a lot of stuff got exposed? They put a lot of creators on blast, among other things. And two, regarding the creators here that got their private monetary information exposed, hey, if separately from this you saw the specific numbers, or you just have the knowledge that the, the numbers range from the hundreds of thousands to the multi-millions of dollars, like, did that change your opinion on any of those content creators? And B, what are your thoughts regarding the public reaction? to this because I mean I, I use some specific examples but there there seems to be a lot of people genuinely bothered that some of the people that they've been watching are making that much money and I will say I was a little surprised with that because yes uh, while that has always existed it feels like you know I've been doing this for 15 years one of the most drastic changes as far as like the creator and their audience one of the biggest things is like it seems like people are rooting for creators to make more money right if you're in this space you've seen people get hyped where someone signs an exclusive deal to a YouTube a Facebook gaming a Twitch or whatever they get a big sponsorship or a big partnership it's seems like people are like, yes, we're legitimate. Whereas back in the day, like if you had a sponsor in a video, you were 100% considered a sellout. So yeah, I don't know. I would, I would love if you could help me unpack this, digest the situation and uh, yeah, let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. Then in news and a story I just absolutely love. You know what's funny about that? Like what's, what's uh, interesting about this story in particular is that, you know what this is like? This is like when people get mad about something that someone has said like 12 years ago you know what i mean like and they'll be like why why well, i saw this now and i'm upset that you said something 12 years ago it's like well okay well my mind has changed since then well yeah, i'm seeing it now so i'm mad now it's like okay but like that doesn't represent who i am okay well it's in my face well okay but you are the one who is searching for this information it's not like i revealed it or i'm flexing it you know what i mean it's like, it's not like Twitch streamers were flexing, uh, this, this, uh, level of, of wealth. Um, they got their shit, Twitch got their shit blown up, leaked, and now everybody's seeing it and everybody's mad. It looks like you got some mad Coke lips going on right now. Coke lips? I'm chewing nicotine gum. I wonder how much right wing, uh, the right wing blogosphere will, will make hay out of this too. Cause that always does happen. That's what usually occurs there too. Cause 
Lyric is 10 and not even using a cam tick that all. Yeah, I was surprised by that. <coughs> I was actually surprised by how much more like Summit and 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 some others uh had made. Like Tim the Tap Man. Because I've put in a lot of hours and I've had like uh I've had some of the highest subscription counts consistently since I guess it's because they've been like big for a lot longer than me. Because for me, it's like, for me, uh, I, I blew up in 2020. I don't know what Altor is, by the way. There's some definite uh, fuckery going on there. Like, premium contract. Jealous much? No, I don't care, dude. Ads, maybe? They have better sub deals since their contracts are so old. That could be the case. Signing bonuses, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know, but... Thanks to Steven, you blew up pretty big on Twitch. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Steven. I have no idea who the, the Altor guy is. Okay. But Ludwig made like 1 million of the 3.2. Ludwig literally made 1 million of the 3.2 million that he generated just off of uh, the subathon. They have more of an appeal to younger demographics? Dude, you're ridiculous. Summit also... Um... Summit also streams a lot. Like, out of all these people that are on here, XQC streams a lot, Summit streams a lot, I stream a lot, um, Lyric streams a lot too. Like, a lot of the top streamers here do stream a lot. Altor is a developer of sound alerts. Altor is German, that's why you don't know him. They have their own ecosystem. Dude, someone said he has 100 uh, followers, okay? I was number two for September, 2021. Yeah, that was actually surprising that like my payout for September was literally uh, like number two on the platform that, or nope, not, not number two. It's the number, that's number two, number three, number four on the platform. It's not ranked, but it's out of order, but still. Altor gets bit royalty when people donate bits on other streamers to use his developed extension. Oh, that does make sense. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, that actually does make sense as to why they uh, they generated that kind of uh, revenue. That's dope, man. Good for him. Who is this know something, know nothing guy? By the way, I have no idea who this is, but like, I love that he posted himself on here with like zero dollars. Comprehensive list. September payouts. Like, Miskip wasn't, Miskip didn't make this in September. I think he made it in August or something because he didn't really stream in September. He's the real socialist. He's a mega lib streamer, neo lib who had a literal eugenics take. Oh, Jesus Christ. From Ludwig. Yeah, we already, I already. Let me know why people only Ludwig fund us sub 100 smaller streamers. Yeah, that's right. Please review and respond. Talking about you being a socialist, wearing a shirt, make the rich pay, but then showing your parents some money earned from Twitch in one month. I tried posting the Instagram link, but got timed out because I'm not a subscriber. Look up Sergeant Savage 1776 on Instagram and at least post. Yeah, I don't really care. Unless it's like someone relevant, don't send me like total random idiots. Wonder why he put you central committee and D on top. 
Oh. Um, but yeah, like, unless there's like a massive, you know, unless like Tim Pool is like talking about it, losing his shit, then yeah, I don't really care about like dummies. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>